Honolulu. Uh, several planes have been shot down, and anti-aircraft gunnery is very heavy. All lines of communication seem to be down between the various army posts. Everyone here on the islands were taken by surprise by the attack, and even yet it's difficult for some people to believe that our air raid on these beautiful islands has actually happened and that lives have been lost. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, several squadrons of Japanese planes came in from the south, dropping bombs and incendiary bombs over the city. One bomb dropped in front of the governor's mansion. Traffic is almost at a standstill. At Pearl Harbor, three ships were attacked. The Oklahoma was set afire. There is great activity there now in clearing the debris. The governor has proclaimed the state Kate? of emergency. The army has issued orders for Are all you people, okay? the civilian population, to remain off the streets. <laughs> I love you, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Will you marry me? Please say yes. Yes. You made me the happiest man in the world. Oh. <laughs> Captain, we search this whole area. There's nothing out here. Ayers, I need you and the other deputies to continue up this trail. Yes, sir. Did Collins and his men report back with their findings yet? They took the bloodhounds deep in the woods surrounding Lake Denton. All right. Send word when they return. I need you to remain diligent in your search, okay? The Kensingtons are an outstanding family in this community, and we owe it to them to do all we can to bring Kate home safe. I'll be home in 10 months and then we'll spend the rest of our lives together. I don't want you to leave. I'd love to stay here with you, but we both know I've got to go. I love you, Kate. I will be back home to spend the rest of my life with you and nothing's going to interfere with that. I promise you. All right, Daly. I love you, Kate. I love you with all my heart.
this broadcast to bring you this important bulletin from the United Press. Flash, Washington. The White House announces Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Kensington, it's Kate. She she ran off into the wooded trails. Now the number one rule we've got to uphold is to remain diligent in our search. This has been a tough case for all of us to endure. We are confident in our aggressive search of the area surrounding where Kate disappeared that she is no longer there. This case will remain open and our thoughts and prayers go out to the Kensington family. Did they find her? Did they find Kate? Mom? Mom? Who's that lady? Captain, with all due respect, do you believe they really saw her? It's been 10 months. How could she have survived these elements? She's gotta be out here somewhere. Maybe with God's help and a little bit of luck, we can find her. Daddy, what are we gonna do? Where is she?
Good morning. It's Katie Connors, Fayetteville's Morning News, here at KMAC Radio. The search for a missing nine-year-old Fayetteville girl, Ellie Frederick, continues this morning. Ellie was last seen four days ago riding her bicycle in the neighborhood of Erin Lakes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ellie. Honey, are you gonna tell mommy what's wrong? I can't help you if you don't talk to me. I know that something's the matter. I hear you every night. Will you please let me in? Mrs. McIntyre called today and she said that you're falling behind in your schoolwork and that you seem disinterested. And she asked me if there's anything going on at home. I, I don't know, Mom. I, I can't make sense of it myself. And I just find all this so confusing. Well, I need you to try. Well, I keep seeing that girl, that missing girl, Ellie Frederick. She's been all over the news, as all people talk about. Is that what's bothering you? You don't understand, Mom. At night when I go to bed, I, I see these things, and I'm beginning to learn more. But honey, those are nightmares. And I know that they seem really real. But when you wake up, you realize they're not real at all. Just bad dreams. It's not what you think, Mom. I... I can feel her pain. It's just hard to explain. I, I know it's real. Hey, Mom. I'm full. Can I please be excused? I have to work on my homework. Hey, Dad. No, I didn't know that she called you. She seems okay. She went to bed around 45 minutes ago, I'd say. Yeah, you can come over tomorrow. Is everything okay? No. No. Run. Please run. Run. Run, Ellie. Please run. 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 Run! <sighs> Haley! <sighs> it's just a dream again. It's just another bad dream, honey. It's not okay, Mom. It's not okay. I saw her again. It's always the same. It's not a dream. It's just too real for it to be a dream. Oh, honey. Oh, it's okay. Hey! <laughs> 
How's my favorite daughter? Pretty good. How's my favorite father? You want to come in and have some coffee? Sounds good. Okay. Here, Dad. Thank you. Thank you. So what's going on? Man, I really need to talk to you about something. Well, is Mom okay? Mom's fine. But your mother and I are worried about Haley. I am too, Dad. I don't know how to help her. Your mother and I have never told this to anyone. And we've not told it to you because we didn't want to alarm you. Losing Dan was tough on everybody. But now that Haley is having this trouble, I feel we need to tell you about this. So one afternoon, we were having lunch, and Haley, right out of the blue, said, my daddy's leaving soon. And your mother and I said, kind of jokingly, where is he going? My daddy's going to heaven. And we were shocked at this, and so we continued to ask her questions, not really knowing what she's going to say next. She said, my daddy's going to be in an accident with a big orange truck and die. We didn't know what to say, so we said nothing. Five months later, Dan was in an accident with a big orange truck. A few days after Dan had passed away, I was walking past Haley's room and I heard her talking to someone. And I went in and I said, Haley, who are you talking with? He said, I'm talking to daddy. And she was kind of surprised to see that I hadn't seen him there. <laughs> Diane, I think there's more to this. I've never really believed in anything like this. I think Haley has a gift. She can see things that we can't. And the only way we can help her is to listen to what she's asking you to do. I don't, if I take her to the police station, they're gonna think that she's crazy. I'm afraid for Haley. I know you're scared, Diane, but you've got to be brave for, for Haley. She's trying to help. And they won't think she's crazy if she can help them. She's got to do this. Hey baby, what are you doing? Nothing. Just thinking. Do you like your new hot cocoa? Yes, it's good. Um, I called today to the police station and I talked to a Detective Brooks. He's the one that's handling the Ellie Frederick case. And I made an, an appointment for us to go down there tomorrow and talk to him. Are you okay with that? Yes. It's not going to be easy, but I feel like it's something that we have to do. Yeah, and we'll do it together. Okay. We'll do it together. I love you. I love you too, Mom. So, we were told that you have information on the Ellie Frederick case. Well, I don't know how much help we're gonna be, but um, my daughter's been having these really horrible nightmares. That's the best way that I can describe it. And they're about Ellie. And she's just insisted that she come here today to talk to you guys and tell you about them. Haley, it's okay, honey. We, you are not in any kind of trouble. We're just here to try to help you, okay? Would you like to tell us about your nightmares? Yes, I need to tell you. I'm gonna have to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Do you know Ellie Frederick? No. So before, have you seen her before her disappearance? No. Okay, Haley, would you like to tell us about your nightmares?
there was a man. He was sitting in a red truck, watching. The sound of a bell draws his attention. There was a young girl riding her bicycle as she passes the man watching her in the truck. Her blonde hair is in pigtails, and she is wearing a purple shirt. He starts the engine. The headlights turn on. He begins to follow her. He has an out-of-state license plate. It's a, it's a Georgia tag, and it reads G4. Two, six, I, B. Yes, that's it. G426 IB. She has fallen from her bicycle on a dirt road. She runs as fast as she can, but it's getting dark. The man in the truck is getting closer. She runs to the park, the one with the large hill. She tries to hide. Ellie, it's not safe here. You have to run. I can't run. I hurt my leg when I fell. Someone or something is here watching us. There is a darkness surrounding him. <laughs> Yet, I can see through him. We have to go now, Ellie. Ellie, please run. Run. Ellie, it's not safe. We have to run. But I'm scared, and all I want to do is go home. Well, come on, Ellie. Let's go. Here. I don't see anybody. <laughs> she wouldn't run. Oh, it's okay. What do you think? I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. I mean, the only way she would have known is she was there. I know we didn't leak any of this to the public. Should we call Adams? Sarge? Yeah, we're gonna need you down here. You're not gonna believe this. It's a tragic ending to the missing 10-year-old girl, Ellie Frederick. As police and rescue units have located and removed her body from the isolated banks of the Aurora Sands Park last night. The Fayetteville Police Department is not revealing any information, but they have confirmed that they do have a suspect in custody related to Ellie's disappearance. Your grandmother and I are really going to miss you and your mother. I know, Grandpa. I'm going to miss you and Grandma, too. Try not to be upset with mom. She says she's doing this for me, but in reality, I know this is what she desperately needs. I know you're right, but I just hate losing my two girls. 
You promise me. If you ever need any help with anything, you'll give me a call? I will, Grandpa. I promise. That box was so heavy. Hi there. We're your neighbors down the street. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. I thought I heard Haley talking to someone. Yeah, actually, we just walked up. My name is Michelle Parsick. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my daughter, Ashley. Hi. And my name's Carl. Oh, Carl. That's my son, Carl. We just live right down the street. Oh, great. Well, I'm Diane, and this is my daughter, Haley. Hi. Can you guys come in? Oh, we don't want to bother. We know that you have plenty to unpack. Well. We could definitely use the break. That's true, and we could use the company. Okay then. Carl, do you want to help Haley with the box? Uh, sure. Great. I got this. Thanks, Carl. You're welcome. Really happy. Yeah. Let's crack open that cake. Yeah. Now we're talking. He loves his cake. <laughs> Well, one thing's for sure. You wanted a quiet town, this is the place to be. Well, how long have you lived in Inverness? Uh, it's been 10 years. Uh, Carl hadn't been born yet, and my husband and I moved here from New Jersey. But what does your husband do? Um, we've been separated for three years. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Yeah. What about you? Is there a Mr. Jennings? Um, well, there was, and um, well, my husband died in a really bad car accident. Okay. About six years ago. Oh my God. Well, I'm very, very sorry. Thanks. Hi, honey. Hey. What's Carl up to? Oh, he's just looking at all of Haley's mystery novels. Oh. Haley loves to read those mysteries. And Carl's the same way. He's always got a book in his hand. Yeah. He wants to be like my mom when he grows up. <laughs> you know, a news reporter. You're a reporter? Is that what you do? Yes, I work for the Inverness News 5 and we do the local news for Citrus County. That is so exciting. Yeah, it's, um, it can be. Um, it's usually the run of the mill stories. Well, it's a lot more exciting than what I do. I'm, I've just been a bookkeeper in North Carolina. Oh, <laughs> well, at least you have normal hours. My mom here works insane hours. Oh, Ashley, honey. Well, you know it's too long. Well, I, you know, I've got to capture the story. I've got to be at the right time, right place to, to get the news. Yeah, I know. That's true. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I get stuck with crazy Carl all day long. Carl's not that bad. No. Oh, come on. He's your typical 10-year-old boy, and he's always doing things he knows will get him in trouble. Well, you know, I can help out if you guys ever need it. And it seems like they get along great. You know what? I think we might have to take you up on that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, get him out of the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Go ahead. 
No signs of her out here. Okay. I'll continue up Tompkins and then head to the Hills Rest Cemetery. All right, I'll continue my search through the grounds of the historic district. <laughs> Careful out there, this Morris girl is considered extremely dangerous. What are you doing out here this late at night? Just going for a little walk. You know there's a strict curfew in the cemetery at this hour, right? No ma'am, I wasn't aware of that. I don't want any trouble, ma'am. I'd suggest you start taking your walks down the historic district from now on, okay? Alright, get out of here. What are you doing? Well, I have to take a leak. I'll be right back. seen the look on your face. It's not funny. It actually was. It was Just get out of here, okay? Alright. Go. Are you gonna tell me why you're mad at me? I'm not mad. It's just you really scared me. I wasn't expecting you to do that. I'm sorry I scared you. I'm sorry that I enjoy making fun of you at times of me. It's fine. I'm not mad. Can we just can we get out of here, please? Officer? What are you kids doing out here so late at night? Oh, uh, just heading home, passing through the graveyard. Aren't you John Henning's daughter? Um, yes, ma'am. Do you know you're out this late? Uh, we were just headed home. Let me see your driver's license and registration. Yes, ma'am.
Inverness, keep your radio dial on. 98.3. Coming up, the morning call. Good morning to all you local ghosts and ghouls out there. It's time to rise up and face another terrifying work day. You might want to bundle up on your way out the door this morning as the forecast calls for a low of 28, a high of 68, and only a 10% chance of afternoon showers. I get to the studio this morning, grab my cup of coffee, and start preparing for the morning show. I take a look at this morning's newspaper and I cannot believe what I am seeing. I mean, have you seen the Chronicle this morning? A ghostly apparition appears at a local cemetery. And with that headline is this amazing picture of what appears to be a ghostly apparition of Kate Kensington. Hey, Rita. In local news, police are still looking for Jennifer Morris, who escaped last night from the Dunning Mental Institution around 6.40 p.m. She is considered unstable and extremely dangerous. If you see Miss Morris, do not approach her. Please contact your local authorities immediately. Fitting for Halloween as this local legend continues to stir, a picture has surfaced by respected local photographer, Ralph White, which shows what appears to be an apparition of a woman walking along the Hills of Rest Cemetery grounds. Mr. White claims he took this photo a few nights ago. is our very own Channel 5 news reporter, Michelle Parsick, who is live at Hills of Rest Cemetery. Michelle? Thanks, Deanne. With Halloween only a day away, this picture adds more mystery and controversy surrounding the local legend of Kate Kensington and the Kensington Estate. It was on October 31st, 1942, when Dr. Robert Kensington reported his daughter Kate missing. At the time of Kate's disappearance, it was reported that she was suffering from a severe case of depression due to the loss of her fiance. It was documented that Kate spent nine months at Dunning Mental Asylum where she received treatment for her condition. Kate Kensington was released into her family's care on October 29, 1942. A massive search was conducted for several weeks with only a handful of dead-end leads. This has been a tough case for all of us to endure. We are confident in our aggressive search of the area surrounding where Kate disappeared that she is no longer there. This case will remain open, and our thoughts and prayers go out to the Kensington family. The mystery of Kate's disappearance has never been solved, and for the last 72 years has remained open. Today, we're only left with questions. Mom, I was watching that. Haley, it's late. If we don't get a move on, you're gonna be late for school. Fine. So, did you read the book from the mist? No, I haven't gone to that one yet. Did you even start it? No. Did you? I finished it last night. All 118 pictureless pages. You know the test is on Monday, right? Yeah. I'll read over the weekend. Anyways, I'm the last chapter of In the Shadows. Isn't any good? It's very good. I just read my creepiness of it. Hmm. I'll have to read that one when you're done with it. So, did you see the story this morning that my mom was reporting on? You know, that Kate Kensington girl? Yeah, I was watching some of it. What do you think about all that? Do you think it's true? Kelsey Thomas was talking about it in class yesterday. She said that her and her brothers camped out into the cemetery and that they could see the apparition of Kate Kensington watching them from the woods. I wouldn't believe anything Kelsey Thomas has to say. She just likes to scare everyone. It is interesting though. I mean, the whole idea of a ghost walking around. Hey, Carl, 
Steely! Why didn't you guys wait for me? We did! You never showed up! Well, I'm here now. What's wrong, Lila? You seem upset. I just spent the last 15 minutes picking up all my school papers after the Henderson boys threw them in the street. Why would they do that? Why do they do anything that they do? I saw your mom on the news this morning talking about the Kate Kensington mystery. She has been working a lot of overtime ever since that picture of Kate's ghostly apparition with the headlines. I can't believe someone actually caught a picture of her. That's proof that this whole thing is real. Hey, we should go over there and check it out for ourselves. Go where? The Hildreth Cemetery. Yeah, we could take a look around and see where that picture was taken. We could start our own little investigation. Yeah, we could become famous ghost investigators. Get our own TV show and everything. I'm serious, Haley. Well, I have to go to the library today. Besides, what do we know about ghost hunting anyway? We are taking your calls here at The Morning Show. What's the buzz? Kate Kensington. This 75-year-old mystery will not go away. In fact, it's hotter than ever because we now have possible proof with a picture taken by local photographer Ralph White at the Hills of Rest Cemetery. And you are on the air. Who am I speaking with? This is Melissa. I totally understand that there is a fascination surrounding the disappearance of Kate Kensington, but it has now turned into this crazy local legend that we as a town can no longer escape from. Case Log 2972, Kate Kensington, January 29th, 1942. A young woman was admitted today who is suffering from severe depression. Her fiancé was killed during the Japanese invasion of Pearl Harbor. Tuesday, February 3rd, 1942. Our initial evaluation of Kate is complete. We will begin treating Kate with insulin injections to induce coma. We will continue this treatment for the next 90 days. Thursday, May 14, 1942. The insulin treatments have proven to be unsuccessful. We are beginning to move into the next phase of our treatment for Kate. Monday, May 18, 1942. We have now started treating Kate with electroshock therapy to induce seizures. Saturday, September 26, 1942. Thus far, Kate has shown no signs of improvement. Her depression has continued to escalate, and she is beginning to show signs of schizophrenia. I fear the worst. Thursday, October 29, 1942. Since Kate's treatments have been unsuccessful, her father has decided to remove her from the facility and have her released into their care. 
In my closing report, Kate has become more mentally unstable. I'm afraid there's nothing more that we can do for her. is here. I don't know where to begin. Miss Jennings, I'm here to try to help you, not to judge. Everyone has problems. Sometimes they just need to talk to someone to help them work through it. Why don't you start by telling me a little bit about your daughter? We are confident in our aggressive search of the area surrounding where Kate disappeared that she is no longer there. This case will remain open and our thoughts and prayers go out to the Kensington family. You see, my daughter isn't like the other children. She's special. Well, she can see things that other people can't. You mean like clairvoyant? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Do you remember the uh, Ellie Frederick case? Yeah, the young girl that went missing in North Carolina. Yeah, that's the one. Well, after she was abducted, my daughter Haley kept having these really bad nightmares. There are over 50 or so sightings of Kate Kensington that have been reported and documented over the years. Wow, really? And that's just scratching the surface. What about you, any luck? And how are things going now? Well, we love our new home and Haley's made a lot of new friends at school and she loves her school. However, I can see it happening again. She won't admit it, but I know it's true. Kate? <laughs> it, it couldn't be. Oh my lord. Kate, it is you. We should get going, Emily. We have chores to do before dinner. Yes, Mommy. Bye, Daddy. Good day to you, Mrs. Marson. Oh, hello, June. Hello, Emily. Hello, Mrs. Allen. We missed you in church today. Yes, I know. We've had our hands full with chores this week. We will attend next week's service. Well, you know, if there's anything that we can do for you, we're here to help. Well, thank you, June. I'll keep it in mind. And we'll see you in church next week? Yes, of course. Have a great day. Good day. We're back, Mom. Just as I said we would be. The days have been so hard since you've been gone. We did manage to get the barn done. But you were no longer Mom? Here. Mom? Mom? Who's that lady? Brother, I'm gonna go see if it's Kate. Kate! Kate, stop! It's me! It's Mrs. Allen! Kate! Oh, 
my lord. Kate, it is you. Kate. Mrs. Allen, please calm down. I know you're excited, but please, I need you to calm down. Now, what makes you think it was Kate Kensington? Captain Harper, you should surely know that we are very close friends of the Kensingtons. Why, Kate and Carol used to come to our house all the time for dinner. So when I tell you that I saw Kate, you better listen. Because she's out there. I saw her out in those woods. It was her, Captain Harper. I saw her with my own eyes. Boys, come on. We're going home. Good day, Mr. Harper. Frank. Ma'am. Good day, Mrs. Allen. Were you able to notify DiMatteo and Ayers? Yes, sir. They're heading down to the eastern bank of Lake Denton. OK, good. You know, I did a quick search where Mrs. Allen had claimed to see Kate. Nothing was there, sir. A lot of the brush and tree branches were intact, but I did see a set of footprints leading into the trail. It just doesn't make sense. I believe that the Allens saw someone. Someone had to go on that trail. We just have to continue the search. All right. Starts the facts. What do we know? We know that the Kensingtons were among the first settlers here in 1891. We also know that they had two children, Robert and Elizabeth. Robert would then leave Caesars County to study medicine, only to return in 1918. He would then marry his wife, Frida, in 1919. Here's where it gets really interesting. Robert and Frida Kensington had two daughters. Kate, who was born in 1920, and Carol, who was born in 1922. So Kate was born in 1920. So Kate was 22 years old and she disappeared. Yes. What else were you able to find out about Kate? That's just it, nothing. The history book mentions Carol, Kate's sister, who married Henry K. Tompkins in 1941. He had four children, Ellen, David, Ethel and Benjamin. Well, I was able to find when Kay was admitted to Downing Mental Asylum, and that was on January 29th, 1942. She was placed there because she was suffering from a severe case of depression due to the loss of her fiance. So Kay was in Dunning for a total of nine months. Yeah. Then two days later, she went missing. What I find interesting is the last person to see Kate alive is the housekeeper. She mentions that she sees Kate walking into the woods behind the home wearing her wedding dress, but never tries to stop her or even notify the family right away. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. There was a massive 22-day search around the surrounding area of where Kate disappeared, and they never even turned up a single clue to her whereabouts. So, she just walked into the woods and is never seen again. Well, not never. I guess the big question is, why is Kate still here? So this is the trail that will take us to the Kensington estate. Yeah, it leads right up to the back of the estate. He's come out of here all the time as a kid. I haven't been out here in forever though. What is it? I thought I saw something down the trail. Oh, come on, Dan. Are you serious? Hello? Kate, is that you? We need to interview you. We have a story to run. Well, I guess she's camera shy. Uh, if you didn't want to walk up the trail, you should have told me. These shoes are killing me anyway. Come on, Dan, let's wrap it up.
When did this happen? It was in 1976. Are they still buried in Hildura Cemetery? I don't know. So even in death, they couldn't rest in peace. I think they are now. So that was just Kate's parents, right? No. They were vandalizing Kate's fiance's grave too. They had to move all of them. Now, it says here that Carol, Kate's sister, died in 1984, but it doesn't mention her resting place. Think about what that poor family had to go through. All these years, with this unwanted attention. I've passed by this place many times before. This is the first time I've ever stopped to take a really good look at it. It's amazing. Sir, my tour of duty will be ending near the end of December, and I plan on coming home to stay. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Your daughter and I are in love. We've been in love for quite some time now. I would like to ask for your blessing and her hand in marriage. William, I've always respected you. You're a good man. And I couldn't ask for a better man to have as a son-in-law. Oh, this is so great. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I love you, Kate. And I'm very happy for you and the bright future that awaits you. It's all there for you, honey. Thank you, Daddy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. I regret to tell you that very many American lives have been lost. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. You need to talk to someone, Kate. We love you. We want to help you. We just don't know what to do anymore. Daddy's talking about sending you away for professional help. But I don't think that's a good idea. You need to be here, surrounded by the people who love you. Kate. Look at me. Please, just look at me. Do you understand what's happening? They're gonna send you away for medical treatment. We were to become a family. It's a girl. She's not getting any better in here. We have to take her home. No more tests. No more treatments. She is going home. I've never seen Daddy so excited than this morning when he went to go pick up Kate. You've been through a lot, Carol. You and your sister's been through a lot this past year. And we've all been through a lot. I just hope that now she's coming home and that everything will be much better. Carol. Kate's here. Kate! <gasps> so, who owns this place now? Well, Carol owned it for many years until she passed away. Then it was willed to her son, David Tompkins. Now you know the rules. We have to stick our pinky finger out when we drink our tea. Good morning, Ellen. Oh, hello, Miss Stampier. We were just having our morning tea. Well, how wonderful. Is your mommy out here too? She's in the gazebo, having tea with Miss Murrow. Well, I better pay them a visit. You have a wonderful tea time, Ellen. Okay. 
Do they still live here? No, nobody lives here right now except for the caretaker. The last person to stay here was one of David's friends from college. She stayed for less than three weeks when she had claimed to see the ghostly apparition of Kate Kensington. What happened to her? She left and never returned. Mommy, Mommy! I just saw that lady again. Oh, as one of Ellen's imaginary friends. <laughs> she was looking at me through my bedroom window. to leave now guys guys we should really get going what's wrong Haley I'm just done with all of this can we just leave what's wrong with you I just don't want to do this anymore fine I'm leaving Haley it's okay wait up Hello? Oh, hey, Michelle. Oh, yeah, sure, that's not a problem. Yeah, he can just have dinner with us. It's incredible how many sightings there have been of Kate over the years. On October 28th, 1984, the Murzoom daughter has even been documented as seeing Kate Kensington. Mr. Only Deepin, I think you need to let it go. I thought we were going to do this together. I thought we were a team. Carl, this is becoming all too real for me. There are things that you just don't understand. What is it, Haley? Why are you not telling me? OK. Hey, Carl, it's your mom. Oh, OK. Hey, hey Mom. Hey, Haley. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Dessert's almost ready. I don't think so, Mom. I'm still full from dinner. But it's your favorite. Homemade apple pie and ice cream. Oh, someone's at the door. Be right back. Yeah, she's already here. Love you too, Mom. Bye. Um, did he have dinner? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Now I don't have to make dinner for a minute. Study some more. <laughs> what are you studying? Um, history. I have a history exam. Are we going to go with us tonight to investigate? I don't think so, Carl. Well, Carl, it's not safe. Promise me you won't go there tonight. I'll tell you everything. Just don't go. Call me when you get home. Fine. You guys need anything? Don't hesitate to call. No, we'll be fine. Thanks, Miss Jennings. You're welcome. Miss Jennings. Thanks for dinner. You're welcome, Carl. Anytime. Mom's working late again. Did you just eat it once you work late? Yeah. Come on, hurry up. Get back, back. Carl! So, what time are we going later? Where do you think you're going? Just to the park? I don't think so. Come on, Ashley, what's the big deal? It's just a park down the street. The big deal is that mom said to bring you home, and that's it. Fine. Can Lava at least come over? Fine, as long as you two keep it down. I have an essay due tomorrow.
There was a massive 22 day search around the surrounding area of where Kate disappeared, and they never even turned up a single clue to her whereabouts. The darkness is here. So, she just walks into the woods and is never seen again. Well, not never. <laughs> So when I tell you that I saw Kate, you better listen. Because she's out there. I saw her out in those woods. Raymond, I need you to take the northern trail. Stephen, you take the southern one. And I'll take the trail in between. Captain, with all due respect, do you believe they really saw her? It's been 10 months. How could she have survived these elements? Raymond. We've got to follow every lead we get. I believe the Allens believe they saw Kate Kensington. And that's good enough for me. Now, the number one rule we've got to uphold is to remain diligent in our search. She's got to be out here somewhere. Maybe with God's help and a little bit of luck, we can find her. I miss you too, Mom. I know it's a lot different than just living right down the street. You know, it's gonna take some time to get adjusted to, that's for sure. It's totally different down here. But it's really beautiful. I know we don't have mountains, but we have the Gulf. How's Dad doing? I wish you guys could come down here. Well, at least in the spring, because it's not that hot then. Yeah, Haley misses you guys. She talks about you all the time. Gosh. That's really weird. No, I mean, my back door's open. I don't think anyone went out there. Haley. Oh, very funny. We are up this broadcast to bring you this report from the United Press. Flag, Washington. The White House announces Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Go ahead, Honolulu. Several planes have been shot down, and anti-aircraft gunnery is very heavy. All lines of communication seem to be down between the various army posts. And they report to us that the attacking planes number between 50 and 100, that the air raid is still on, and that the anti-aircraft fire can be heard in a steady drone as the attacking planes come in. I'll be home in 10 months and then we'll spend the rest of our lives together. I don't want you to leave. I'd love to stay here with you, but we both know I've got to go. I love you, Kate. I will be back home and spend the rest of my life with you and nothing's going to interfere with that. I promise you. There were 350 men killed in a direct bomb hit on the barracks at Hickam Field. We all love and miss William, too. You need to be strong, Kate. I need you. She needs you, too.
I love you, Kate. I will be back home to spend the rest of my life with you, and nothing's going to interfere with that. I promise you. I can't do this without you. We were to become a family. I still think flashlights would have been better suited for this investigation. These old lanes would do the job. Besides, I didn't want to alert Ashley by looking for the flashlights in the closet. We had everything we need. A camera, voice recorder, and lights. Hold up. Here. You take the pictures, and I'll do the audio recordings. Do you really think we're going to see her? We can only hope. How much further up is this trail to the Kensington home? This trail takes us out of the cemetery. We have to go on another trail to get to the Kensington estate. So I'll say about a mile. A mile? Had I known that, I might have stayed home too. Stop complaining. How do you know about this trail anyway? I just come out of here with Ashley and her boyfriend riding the ATV. What is this? I think I see something moving up the trail. Hey, Michelle. Hey. You about done? Yeah. Bobby says we gotta get going if we wanna make the five o'clock deadline. It's okay. Don't you get tired of this stuff? No. Why does it always revolve around Halloween? Because, Dan, it's like I said, it all revolves around the time of her disappearance. I agree with you. There are wackos out there that are trying to get attention based on this information. But there's something out there. There's one thing that's going to draw this all together. I feel it. William is gone now. You have to come to terms with this. Fight this case. Fight for your life. I can feel your darkness. How can I help you? Something's wrong with Kate. Shh. The darkness is here. What was that? I think someone's at the door. Do you think it's her? I'm not sure. It's too hard to tell. Whoever it is, is moving further up the trail. Here, take a look for yourself. I don't see anything. No, I don't. Let's go. Carl, wait. Oh, we don't want to Daddy, that's not fair. Kate has lost everything. Harold, this will ruin my reputation with the community. She can't even function on her own anymore. Dr. Kensington, it's Kate. She, she ran off into the wooded trails. You have to let William go. We love you, Kate. 
come back to us. We can't keep this a secret any longer. You and Henry have to take the baby. Then I shall keep the name that Kate was going to give her. Ellen. Ellen Tompkins. Mommy, Mommy! I just saw that lady again. Oh, as one of Ellen's imaginary friends. <laughs> she was looking at me through my bedroom window. I have been trapped within my own pain. Only the darkness remains. Does anyone know the truth? Well, out of respect from our father, Henry and I are going to raise Ellen as our own. No one can really know the truth. I am so sorry. I just wish Kate could see how beautiful she is today. She's coming. Do you think we lost her? Oh no. I think we should keep going. sure if it's her. What do you mean? Who else would be out here wearing a white wedding dress? I don't think she is wearing a white wedding dress. She's coming. Mom, something is telling me Carl and Lila are in great danger. Hello? Ashley, this is Mrs. Jennings. Oh, hi, Mrs. Jennings. I need you to listen to me. Is Carl there? Yeah, he's in his room with Lila. Can you please go check for me? Is everything all right? Well, I'm not sure, but can you please go check on him? Hold on. Miss Jennings, they're not here. Okay, okay, I'm gonna need you to listen to me, okay, Ashley? Okay, I need you to call your mother and I need you to call Lila's parents. And you just tell them that the kids are not there. And then I need you to stay at home in case the kids come back, okay? Do you understand me? Yes, I'll, I'll call out from now. Okay. Um, they mentioned something about going to the park? Well, no, they're not at the park. Here, take a look for yourself. Yeah, you're right. She isn't wearing a white wedding dress. I will grab the camera and take a picture. We need to document this. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, she has a knife in her hand. Why don't I take a picture?
I think Haley has a gift. She can see things that we can't. It's not a dream. It's just too real to be a dream. I am beginning to see more, learn more. I can feel their pain. This is all so confusing to me. I just, I can't make sense of it anymore. Please help me. I'm so confused by the things I see. I feel so helpless with what I can't do. Why is this happening to me? I'm so sorry I couldn't save Ellie. Please don't take my friends from me. I can't go through this again. <laughs> Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters and restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Do you think we lost her? I don't know. I think we should keep going. Explain it. But I know the truth now, Mom. The truth? What do you mean? The priest helped me see the truth. The priest? And there's nobody here. There's nobody here, honey. Like everybody else, just, just pull it back and just, just be a little bit normal. As you go through this life, Haley, you really need to remember the most important things. A lot of people lose sight of them, and then they they lose their journey, they lose their way. In the scriptures it says that there are two most important things to remember. To love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your will, and all of your soul. And the next most important thing is to remember to love your brothers and sisters 
as you love yourself. You have been given a great gift, Haley. Do not run from the problems that may come because you will find the answers by facing them with boldness. Do not run, do not question, trust the Lord. For he sent the Holy Spirit to be your comforter, your guide, your teacher. Let the light pave your way. Let it pave your way, be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. For you will conquer. Do not be afraid to walk in darkness and do not be afraid of what walks in the darkness. For you will never, ever be alone. Think about it, the creator of the universe, the Lord your God, will always, always be with you. So use this gift to share with those who do not have the revelation, who do not have the understanding that you have been given. For God is using you to show them things that they cannot see with the natural eye, to walk in the spirit. So use that gift wisely and you will be blessed and they will be blessed. What? You mean be normal? Live a normal life? Worry about normal things? I can't. I didn't want this. But it is what I am. I try to block it out. No matter how hard I try, it always finds me. This is who I am. I'm still your little girl. But there are things that I have to do. I can help them, Mom. They need me. People will always doubt what they don't understand. I truly believe God sent me here to help those who are lost in this world. I can do this, Mom. You can let go. And when I walk out this door, I am never alone. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Diane, I think there's more than this. I've never really believed in anything like this. I think Haley has a gift. She can see things that we can't. And the only way we can help her is to listen to what she's asking you to do. There is nothing more that we can do, Haley. We called the police and told them that they could be here or at the Kensington estate. two missing children? I don't think I can keep going. Momar, we're almost there. You can do it. She's coming. As soon as she passes us, we'll run back the other way. 
I think we should go further into the woods. The trail's the only direct way out of here. Besides, we don't want to lose sight where the psycho is. If we run back in the other direction, at least we know we're heading away from her. We're taking a risk just sitting here. there on one of these trails. We're aware of that possibility, ma'am. They're preparing to send officers in the trails with ATVs. Off this trail, we have to cut through the cemetery. And then we can go to this chain's house, call the police. Yeah, nut job right on the wooden trail. At least we lost her. And we know that she's heading in the opposite direction. You know that nobody's gonna believe the story. Which part? That we got chased all over the trails by a psycho lunatic? Or that we actually saw the apparition of Kate Kensington. Both. We have no proof. One of the stories right out of the Kelsey Thomas handbook. It doesn't matter. I'm not sure. If... Oh, run! Go, go, go! Mrs. Jennings, I understand your concern. We cannot go in there. They're preparing to send officers in there right now. We need to secure. Drop the knife. No one has to get hurt. Just drop the weapon. Now back away. Good. Let's go. Put her in your car. Okay. here. Let the light pave your way. Let it pave your way. Be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. For you will conquer. Think about it. The creator of the universe, the Lord your God, will always, always be with you. Do not run. Do not question. Trust the Lord. For he sent the Holy Spirit to be your comforter, your guide, your teacher. So use this gift to share with those who do not have the revelation, who do not have the understanding that you have been given. For God is using you to show them things that they cannot see with the natural eye. The Lord my God will always be with me. Haley, no! It's okay, Mom. I know what I have to do. I offer you my light. For so long, you have suffered the pain of no one 
knowing the truth with a secret so buried that your own daughter doesn't even know. I know Kate, and I will share it with everyone. Your past will no longer remain a mystery. I will bring light to your darkness. You've waited so long to have peace. It's time for you to rejoin your family. They are waiting for you on the other side. All you have to do is embrace the warmth of that light. And you will find the peace that you deserve. I love you, Kate. I love you with all my heart. You have found your peace, Kate. It's time for you to go home. It's a legend that follows from the backwoods and the holler, the legend of Kate Kensington. Settled in her mind 
mystery to be told by a child By his tombstone she waits to come home In the silence of the darkness all alone Preacher holds her hand, shares all he can To protect the things he don't understand She opens her eyes, guided by the light Scared, but she doesn't know why Now that she knows, the mystery unfolds And the truth to be finally told the truth to be finally told there's a blood moon tonight she's slowly creeping by searching in the shadows of the night she can't move on she's waiting to come home in the hills of rest all along The legend of Kate Kensington